Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a video talking about my makeup first. So this is basically everything I used when I first got into makeup. Not when I kind of wore makeup, but I wasn't really into it. This is when I first got into makeup pre-MAC day. So not like my MAC tutorial where I showed you guys how I used to do my makeup, but basically everything I used to use when I very first got into makeup, but some of these are kind of cringeworthy. Starting off with brushes. Now, when I first started putting on my makeup, I definitely did it with my hands, but when I got into makeup, I was like, okay, well, I need brushes. So I remember finding Eco Tools at Walmart and being like, yes, this is what I need. And I had just started watching like YouTube tutorials and stuff, and I saw those. So I grabbed a pack of them, and those those were actually pretty good brushes. And the other one that I specifically remember is this Sonia Kasha foundation brush. Now this one was like my favorite thing in the entire world for a while. See, I had met Kelsey going into Mac one day and she told me that I looked like a model and I loved her forever. So I found her on YouTube and I remembered her using this brush. Like I thought she was sitting on the floor. She might have been sitting on the floor and she was putting on her powder foundation or something with this brush and I had to have it. Kelsey had it. I had to have it. So apparently this needs for us for me to have the same thing as her happened a very long time ago before we were actually even friends <laughs> my first primer I will never forget this this was the Mac skin base so this primer kind of smooths out the skin. It actually works really well, but I like it better for normal. I, I hate this primer on myself now because I know my skin type and back then I thought that I was oily and I was because I wasn't taking care of my skin. <laughs> but I would use this and I remember that, oh my gosh, I look so smooth. And it's funny because that smoothness it would look like holy texture to me now, but I remember being so thrilled about putting this primer on and feeling so smooth, so pretty, and even my husband noticed a difference, but that was the very first one I ever used. My first real foundation, MAC Studio Fix. So this was a huge improvement from my, what was it, Revlon Color Stay. That's what I was putting on with my hands. <laughs> And the color was much better, but I got matched to an NC15, and I am the shade I am now. So it was too light, but I just kind of went with it. So I ran around looking like a ghost for a hot minute, but I was so thrilled with this foundation for the longest time. I think it was like a solid two years before I took that foundation off and tried anything else. Concealer. <laughs> yeah, I didn't use one. <laughs> I put that foundation studio fix all the way up underneath my eyes and I even used the same powder that I set my face to set underneath my eyes because I I didn't know what concealer was. I was like, oh, I've got foundation, I've got coverage, what do I need anything else for? When I finally realized that I'm not supposed to put my foundation underneath there, I did get MAC Pro Longwear and that's the one that I used for the longest time. So that powder <laughs> that, <laughs> that I set my whole face with and then underneath my eyes, yeah, it was blot powder, MAC blot powder. That was me because I wasn't taking care of my skin. <laughs> so I thought I was oily and I, honestly I was because I was oily all over, but me and washing my face, we didn't get along back then. So I took that blot powder down here, under there, and yeah, I was very happy with its oil controlling capabilities. Um, I don't even remember what my under eyes looked like back then. My first bronzer was MAC Golden. So I'm sure you guys are noticing a theme here. MAC was definitely the first brand that I really got into. And uh, I remember being really excited sitting in the chair and her putting the bronzer on me because I never understood it. I was like, what do you do with this dark powder? I had no idea what you were supposed to do with this powder. I just always heard people talking about bronzing, I, but yeah, over my head. Warm Soul was my first blush. It was my first love and I still love it today. It's still in my collection. Highlighter. You guys, come on, you already know what this is. MAC Soft and Gentle. Raise your hand, comment down below if MAC Soft and Gentle was your very first highlighter. When I saw that go on my cheeks, I had no idea what had just happened to me, but it was highlighter. Highlighter happened to me and I have not been without highlighter ever since. 
With mascara, I really didn't get into anything high-end. I was very much so, like, I didn't care about my lashes. I care about them more now because I actually have some length. But back then, I was like, eh, whatever. And my favorite was L'Oreal Voluminous. And then the liner I used was e.l.f. black cream liner. I remember getting excited whenever I got my first black track, <laughs> but then I went right back to the e.l.f. cream liner. It's like three dollars. It's not as budge proof as the black track, but it doesn't dry out as fast either, and I still use that in my collection today. This is the cringe-worthy part. <laughs> I didn't understand brows. I didn't understand their importance. <laughs> didn't know that they, uh, <laughs> that a brow pencil existed. I also <laughs> didn't know how to stop plucking. So I literally took a black pencil sharpened liner, like coal, and I, yeah, 100% went to town, solid, filled in, probably not even matching, probably not even like distant cousins, you know, they're not related. It was bad, you guys. It was so bad. I wish I still had a picture of that, but yeah, I'm pretty sure I deleted all of my liner brows. My first eyeshadow base was Painterly Paint Pot because YouTube said I needed Painterly. I didn't even know that Soft Ochre existed because I'm yellow, that's yellow, that's the shade I needed, but when I first started makeup, you couldn't tell me anything. YouTube said painterly, so I was getting painterly. I don't even know if the MAC artist steered me towards soft ochre, because I was so hellbent on getting painterly. I now know that that shade is not the right shade for me. Now my first eyeshadow palette, and the one that I use to death, is not from MAC. It is actually from Urban Decay. And this palette was everything to me. I was so excited about it. This, just seeing this palette gives me warm, fuzzy feels. And I hit pan on like three of these shades and I loved it so much. I remember taking that soft pink color and just putting it all over my lid and I was so happy about it. And then my very first lipstick was also from Urban Decay. And you might be thinking, why did you go with a red lipstick? <laughs> it was because I didn't like color on my lips for the longest time. I would not put anything on my lips. I didn't like my lips. I didn't like my teeth. I didn't like to draw attention to it. So I would have a full face of makeup on and nothing on my mouth because... That doesn't draw attention to it, right? <laughs> but it was when I was at a photo shoot and I modeled. I had red lipstick on. They put it on me and I felt so good that I was like, I need this red lip. And I lived in that red color for the longest time. It was this Urban Decay pencil, like a one of the jumbo size ones. I just loved it. I loved it so much. So I was into the bright colors way before I ever got into a nude. After a while, I got my makeup life together and I got rid of my black liner for my brows and <laughs> eventually started working at MAC. And then Kelsey got my whole life together, we became best friends, and then she is the reason why I even have a YouTube channel because she begged me over and over and over, you need to do it, you need to do it. I was too scared. So <laughs> here we are today. Anywho, I'll see you guys in my next video. Oh, and if you wanted to see this makeup look, I do already have it recorded. So I will leave the link to it down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.